Hi! Today I'm going to talk about traveling and eating vegan in other countries. So I've got five tips to share today of different ways to make sure that you stick to your vegan diet as much as possible while you're in other countries. I know that I personally have had a lot of difficulties along the way. Some countries more difficult than others. And I know a lot of this varies on the country that you go to because if you're in America and traveling to Australia or, you know, the UK, those countries you're not really going to have much of an issue. But I recently was in the Philippines and it definitely was difficult there. So obviously it depends on the country, but the tips that I have to share pretty much could go across any country. So the first tip, just in case anyone doesn't know about Happy Cow, it's a website and you can search for a location and it will show you any vegan restaurants in the area, vegetarian restaurants in the area, or restaurants that have vegan and vegetarian options on the menu. So obviously it's an amazing resource and I have yet to type in a location and not find any options. And I just want to make a note that I am a fan of planning a trip beforehand to a certain extent. You know, you don't want it to feel overplanned, like every minute of your day is scheduled. But um, if I wasn't vegan, I would probably just, when lunch or dinner time rolled around, just go wherever, just stop in any restaurant. But you know, you can't always do that if you eat a vegan diet. So I recommend just before you arrive at your destination at the new country to go on Happy Cow and in whatever cities that you're going to be visiting in, write down the names and the locations just so when the time comes for when you want to have your next meal, you don't have to spend that time researching then. You'll have already done it and you know where you want to go to eat and hopefully that just makes things a lot easier. The second tip that I have is, again, researching ahead of time popular dishes of that country. Pretty much every country, you know, they have dishes that are very popular to like the native food culture. And a lot of the times at least one, but sometimes a lot of options are or can be made vegan friendly. Like for example, when I went to Morocco, you know, a very popular dish there is tagine. And you can have, you know, lamb tagine and chicken tagine, which are very popular, but also vegetable tagine is available pretty much every restaurant that I ate at while I was there in all of the cities in Morocco. I don't think I encountered a single place that didn't have tagine. And vegetable tagine is also usually the cheapest option. Make it a point to look at some of the popular foods of that country and see what options you have that are vegan dishes. A lot of them are accidentally vegan. Now this next tip that I have, I never really thought that you could do this, but every time in the past five years that I've traveled to another country, I've done this and never had an issue. And so that's bringing food from home, actually. I'm a big fan of Cliff Bars, and I think that they're a really good breakfast on the go. A lot of times I'm getting up early to go see this thing or go on a hike or anything like that. So Cliff Bars are a really great breakfast that I like to pack on the go. And every time that I've gone through the airport, I've never had anyone comment on it. I've never had any issues going through customs. And I bring like 20, 10 to 20 Cliff Bars just in my backpack with me and I haven't had any issues. You know, the worst thing that can happen is you pack them and then they take them away. But I don't think it would hurt to try and I've surprisingly not had any problems doing this. It's very convenient just to have like a snack with you because you don't always have access to snack foods abroad. You're typically when you're eating you're sitting down at a restaurant, but it's really convenient to have some granola bars or like maybe some nuts or seeds or dried berries or something along those lines. Just try packing a snack 
from your home before you leave for your destination. My next recommendation is for when you are at a restaurant, especially if you find a restaurant that is all vegan or all vegetarian, typically the other people who are eating there are vegan and vegetarian as well. So like when I was in El Nido recently, there was this all vegetarian restaurant. It was almost all vegan. And we were eating there and it was amazing. It was delicious. And there were some other travelers sitting very close to us and they were talking about other restaurants in the area. So we started talking to them to see, you know, what other places have good vegan options because they told us that they had had some trouble in certain areas of the Philippines, but they had been there for longer than I had. So they had some good recommendations of other places to eat, places that I might not have known about. So it's really good to talk to other travelers. The last tip I want to talk about is something that I don't do very often, but I would say most countries that I've gone to, I've gone to the grocery store while I was there, and that's always really fun just to experience what a grocery store is like in another country because, you know, it's the same and yet different and you like to see what kind of foods they have and, you know, how much things are. This is another really great place to pick up snacks, usually for very cheap, especially at like a convenience store. But if you're at an accommodation like an Airbnb where you might have a kitchen available or if you're in a hostel that has a kitchen, you can most definitely cook your own meals at home. If you are planning on staying in one night, you can, you know, grab some beans and rice and tortillas or anything really, just ingredients. And usually this is super affordable to do, so I would recommend it to do more often if you're on a budget. It can be pretty easy to make like very simple basic meals. You know, there are some foods that are universal. Every grocery store ever is going to have rice and other staples along those lines. Check out the grocery store the next time you're traveling and see what vegan ingredients they have. Those are all of my tips for eating vegan abroad. Um, let me know if you have any other ways that you would like to share, and thanks for watching this video. Bye!